Today we read from Robin Brent about the simplicity and the breath. And Brent suggests that paying attention to our breath is a gift that we have. And she writes that we've all been gifted with this powerful and effective built-in way to slow ourselves down, to rebalance, and to be present to ourselves, to others, and to God. I want to talk more about the presence of God. And in Hebrew, the presence of God is called Ruach. And before God said, let there be light, the earth was without form. And void and darkness was over the face of the deep. Yet the Spirit of God, that Ruach, was hovering over the face of the waters. It seems that God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity as we know it, was there when God said, Let us make man in our own image, in our likeness, and give them dominion over all the earth and all of its creatures. Today we receive the verse from Genesis chapter 2, verse 7 that says, Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. This breath is something that we can't see. Though you can smell someone's breath, you can't see it. And in the same way, the Holy Spirit, that Ruach, that presence of God isn't always seen but it can be experienced. You know, we experienced it in the Old Testament through Joseph when he received the ability to understand and interpret dreams through Betzalah, who was given the skills and creativity to decorate the tabernacle and through all the prophets who were given a specific message to a specific people for them to receive a message from God. We see it in the centuries later when Jesus came here on earth and Jesus began his ministry by being baptized in the Jordan River and we see the Trinity again as the Spirit came down in a form similar to a bird or a dove and in Luke chapter 3 verse 22 God said um, you are my beloved son with you I am well pleased uh, the same spirit, that same Ruach, that after Jesus was crucified and died, raised him back to life. And that same spirit that Jesus, in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 22, said and breathed onto his disciples and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. And 50 days later at Pentecost, many people came to receive that spirit. It's a powerful presence of God. And so I asked the youth a couple of months ago, trying to help us understand this more is breathing something that you do or is it something that just happens on one hand it's voluntary and on the other hand it's involuntary and such is life there are things that we do and there are things that just happen being mindful of your breath from time to time has the opportunity to take you into that presence of God being mindful of your breath is is not just like listening in such a way of trying to understand what you're hearing or labeling it but it's like breathing out the breath of relaxation like jumping into a bed that's really comfortable and once your breath is completely out it's not something you want to just pull it back in but you want to just let it fall back in until your lungs have reached the capacity that they can't take anymore as you do this more and more, your breath will get slower and slower and it'll get deeper and deeper. You're not wanting to get in a hurry. You're not wanting to worry about anything. You're just allowing yourself to breathe. And such is life in the presence of God. Things get slower and slower and we become more mindful and more aware. And as we do, we begin to let go of control more and to worry less and yeah I just think that this was a good exercise that the author wrote it's different than what I'm talking about but check it out 
Also this weekend, uh, the bishop's coming into town to confirm our confirmands. We're really excited to have him be here, and we encourage all of y'all to come to church, the Eucharist at the 1015 service, to be a part of that. Thank you.